Hey guys, Del here, and um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm having a wee week, a wee weeks break away from work, so I'm on holiday just now. So please forgive the the background. Um, I'm, we're staying in a, a nice log cabin um, out in the country, so just a bit of family time. It's my first real break since um, since March, really. So it's nice to catch my breath and get some uh, well earned downtime, I believe. So I'm just going to do a quick reviews as I can for the next week. I don't have my normal um, video set up uh, as I can't really edit and things like that on it. So we'll just do it as and when, so bear with me. Um, so we're gonna look at the Condor um, Pike Fishing Heads. <clears throat> I love Condor tools, so you might be aware of that. Um, this is a great little addition to any bushcraft survival kit. Um, so we'll take a little closer look and see how we get on with these. So these are, are the Condor Pike Fishing Heads, it, they're made of 1075 carbon steel and they're coated in a black coating, we'll have a wee look at them in a minute. So this is the little corduroy pouch that they come in, but it, it's a great size really, it will fit into um, survival containers, um, or little prep bags, or any size survival kits, they'll make a great addition for that. You could also attach it to um, a sheath if you wanted. Be ideal for that. So let's take a little closer look at these. So they come with three, like I said, it's 1075 high carbon steel. That's them there. I really like these. Now, <clears throat> the um, corduroy sheath is really durable, so they won't stick through. You could wrap a bit of paper in these or even put a bit of plastic um, inside or over the edge to make it through. I've kept it inside. Um, I've kept it inside and they've, and they've not pierced through yet. It's almost double lined, as you can see. So that's the heads themselves. Nice spear point. Plenty of room to lash these. Um, I like these grooves for your um, for your, your lashing line, whether you use line or a bit of cordage, whatever cordage you use. You can start it off on your loops and um, it's got these wee grooves here that are ideal for making um, more secure to your point. It's a really nice beefy head, I really like it. So obviously they say it's for pike fishing. It's for a decent size fish, so you could probably use it on any kind of large scale river fish such as um, trout, things like that, in, in the, when you, if you're in the lake areas with the pike, um, whatever really is the, the big native fish that, that you've got out there. I'd even imagine you can use these for flatties, such things like um, flounders and, and, and stuff like that. I don't know if ever you, when, when you were boys, you went flattying, so you'd go and you'd um, take your shoes off and walk about in the in the pools, the, the low water at, at, at the beach and whatnot, and tread, go treading, um, or, or, or even with your old trainers on, you used to go treading for flatties. So, and one, once you stood on one, you could bend down and stab it, um, pull it out. You used to take an actual garden fork and use a garden fork with it. And once you, once you tread on them, you'd uh, just put the garden fork through it and pull them up. So, that was things we used to do as a boy. But yeah, these are the pike heads, so you could even use for that. With the, with the double head on it, the, the double anchor, um, it does make it pretty secure for going into the fish and not pulling back through. Um, so it'll actually latch on in the fish rather than just going through and pulling it back out which most people you see them on these survival programs and they make a point or the point on the edge and they don't bother putting a wee notch in just to make sure it secures it and then they stab the fish and then they pull the spear out and the fish shoots off so this is the idea for these little notches is that they just go in and uh, secure themselves on the fish itself so I like these these retail for about 30 pound so roughly about $39 worth it I think so um I do I do like kit I don't think it's overpriced you can get you could you could buy cheaper Chinese ones probably for a tenner from Wish or something like that but to be honest with you I like supporting proper companies and I like paying for what I get and a good product for what I get so that's just a quick review of the Condor Pike fishing sets I like it, they call it the pike fishing set, but really it's just, just a condor fishing set. 
it's a nice bit of kit, nice bit of addition to kit. And like I said, the pouch is good too. So that's just a quick review of that. Thanks for watching as always. I must, I must say the studs can be a wee bit tight to start off with so when you get these play about with them a wee bit just to loosen that stud off um, and all will be good and that's the heads there have a wee play about but yeah that's the, the Condor Pike Fishing Headset thanks for watching everyone don't forget to stay safe out there keep prepping Prepadel out